These footbridge linking Kabakama and Basel clubs due to a heavy downpour of rain on Monday night. The disconnection of this important footbridge caused a serious security threats to the residents of the area and users amid mobility challenges faced by people. As the responsible institution for all regional facilities, the management of the Basel Area Council quickly responded to the unfortunate incident. The chairman of the council, Mahamadou Sise, the governor of the region, and other relevant authorities visited the collapse bridge to assess the level of damage and find solution to restore the footbridge. And suddenly right now my office has already communicated with the Chinese people uh, construction company in URA to go and then exactly to reassess the place and then come with a report. At least council can use it as a working document in terms of what needs to happen next. But uh, right now what we are doing is, uh, or what we have already passed as a decision is that um, the, it should be temporarily locked down. And no one should use it in terms of uh, passing by and so on. Chairman Sisi assured residents of the area and road users that the council is doing everything possible to provide mechanism to reconstruct the bridge as soon as possible. I quite agree with you. There is also another access around the hospital uh, side. Uh, but equally it's important that uh, this is a footbridge that uh, mainly many of Kabakama are used to it. Even people who are beside around that main highway, they still use that because it's the one of the main road or footbridge they are always used to. And then uh, access to road, accessibility is one of the key because you cannot access market without a road. Uh, council for so, uh, we will see how best we can see uh, even though we are going to stop some of our uh, planned uh, activities to make sure to re uh, divert some of those funds in terms of uh, reconstruction uh, of that bridge. If even the worst come, if council is out of resources, the only thing is we need to go with partners like I uh, informed you earlier. We have already instructed the Chinese bridge construction company to go and do assessment. And then they have that long-term partnership with Basel Area Council. And then I am so even we don't have the phone right now, we can go in for agreement for them to do the construction and later we see how best we can um, uh, do work on the repayment plans. The governor of the region, Sambaba, said the disconnection of the footbridge is unfortunate as it makes movement difficult for the people, especially Kabakama residents. Governor Ba, however, expressed disappointment in people's attitude towards the area amid the illegal and indiscriminate waste dumping, making it impossible for water to flow easily. At this particular juncture, you know, there is a red flag because like uh, uh, the place is not safe for people to use because it can, it can uh, collapse completely at any given time. And as a result, I have given instruction to, to Basel Area Council for them to make sure that they, complete, they remove the slab altogether. And then now uh, we are working with what we call uh, the, the Chinese people in making sure that we can we address that, that problem immediately. But in the interim, let Basel Area Council be very much at least vigilant around that end in making so that at least the place is being what is protected. I think people need to change their attitude. At a, at a canal or you know uh, when you dump there something you don't expect somebody to go, come and pick it for you in, and then by the time it accumulates we don't know. At the end of the day you know it becomes what you call a hazard to the community and this is exactly what I have seen there but I have ordered uh, the, uh, the director of planning of Basel Area Council for to make sure that at least that particular place is clean uh, as quickly as possible and then we restore what we call sanity in that area. According to a report in 2019, the Basel Area Council spent $225,650 for the maintenance of the said footbridge for sustainability purposes. Meanwhile, authorities have instructed an immediate restriction of the area for security and safety purposes as they continue to engage partners, including the Chinese road construction team, to address the problem. Seidu Kamara, reporting for Jardis News from Basel Upper River Region.